Hi there crafters, Louise with you today. Welcome along to a three old and three new stash busting layout. And today I'm teaming some new Vicky Booten products with some older Vicky Booten products and a little bit of my mink foil stash. So you can see I've chosen one of Vicky's pre-made backgrounds from the Discover and Create collection. And it was quite um, black and dark and I loved the background, but I just wanted to add my own little touch of sparkle. And that's what I'm gonna do. So. I have um, chosen a couple of photos and these photos are super important because of the story that goes with them. My son um, was lucky enough to participate in a super important um, medication trial for kids cystic fibrosis and um, we were lucky enough to spend quite a few weeks with the lovely ladies at Children's Health Research and this was the final day of the study and um, it's about the story of him um, spending all those days um, being involved in the study. So I'm calling it Discover because we um, had many adventures, whether it be getting lost in city traffic, um, traveling backwards and forwards to the hospital, different um, adventures that we went on throughout our time in this drug trial. So um, very important story on this layout and that's why I chose these two photos and I have titled my layout with that discover word uh, because it just fits really well and I love the bright colours with the, the colours of the photo and my more muted background. So here's where I'm going to pull out the deco foil paste. Now I use the duo paste, which is actually able to be used um, either hot or without heat. So I, my preference is to use it without heat. So I um, am going to spread just a, a fairly sort of thick layer of the paste through again a Vicky Booten stencil and I'm going to let that dry naturally. I don't like to use my heat gun. Uh, I like to just let it dry. And when it does dry, you'll notice if you touch it that it's quite tacky. So it, it, it has to be to have the foil attached to it. Um, but I like to do my foiling uh, without heat. So essentially all I'm gonna do is press the foil into the paste that I'm going to lay down. So super important when you're applying this paste to try and get it fairly even and you don't want it too thin um, because you'll lose a little bit of the texture uh, and the adhesion to the actual foil. It won't stick as well. So I'm going to pop that aside and come back to it when it's dry and you can see it dries clear so you can't actually see it but it's got that kind of tacky um, shimmery sort of feel and it's a simple matter of just taking out some foil and in this case I've decided to use gold uh, because a gold background over black is going to look really striking. And then I just use the back side of um, one of my craft tools. So this is one of those rubber um, like paste spreaders. And I just simply rub that um, foil over the top. I don't mind if it doesn't completely cover those paste sections that I've added. For me, this is about um, creating an area of interest in the background. So it's not a, doesn't have to be a perfect layer. It's really just about breaking up some of that sort of black and adding a little bit of um, texture and color over the top. So there's a couple of areas where I'm just gonna fill in some blanks or thicken up the paste. And I do that because it's hard to see with the glare of the lights, but I do that just by touching it and um, getting a feel for where that actually sits. All right, now this is one of my stash items. So I thought it would be a great idea to see how um, a Vicky Booten previous six by eight paper pad would work with uh, some newer Vicky Booten products. And I was pleasantly surprised that they actually coordinate quite nicely. There's a definite, um, uh, color palette that Vicky uses in her releases and I was yeah I, I thought it was great that I could actually um, yeah use a stash item with some newer Vicky products so I'm going to mount my photo mounting to me is simply about um, popping some layers behind it so whether you completely mount your photo in that you put paper all around it or you just do a partial mount like in this case what I've done here is just a little bit of paper to stick out 
Um, I'm creating layers and areas of interest purely just so that um, I've got some places to um, have stickers and embellishments and, and little um, pops of either story or colour or different areas around my photo. So I think it's um, super important to separate your photo from your background. I'm always a fan of making sure that when I'm creating a layout, I've got um, distinction between the photo and the story and the background. I don't want my photo to be lost by too much overwhelming it from the background. I am also, of course, a huge fan of journaling. I know a lot of people don't like to see their handwriting on layouts, but, you know, I just love looking back at my grandma's cookbooks that were all handwritten and her handwriting at the time and the stories that she wrote. And it's, I, it's part of our history. And I, you know, a lot of people I know don't like to handwrite, but I think it's super important, even if you just write the names of the people in the photo, the date, um, what you know what you want to tell in terms of the story try and write it at least somewhere even on the back of your layouts is great because it does um, provide future generations who may hopefully with all the hours that we've spent looking through sorry creating these scrapbook pages the future generations will look through the albums and and see those memories I do um, scrapbook for a number of reasons. Part of it is the therapy of the art process, so the creative outlet that it gives me, but it's also for that memory keeping as well. So being able to look back through our albums and, and see the different stages and progress of our lives. All right, I've added a couple of little embellishments. As you can see, there's a little floral cluster, a little clip at the top, um, a little bit of feather embellishing. I had to hold it up just to make sure that my photos and everything were straight on that background. Um, it still does get a little bit lost because there is quite a lot going on in the background, um, but I think it's still easy to note um, those bright photo colours on the front and the title and the journaling without being too overwhelmed. Now the final stages is simply to add some of these enamel dots. I love the texture that dots give. Uh, the black obviously fits in perfectly with that black background that I've got going on. So I'm, I always glue these down because I hate when they fall off later and I'm looking at a layout. So I'm going to glue down some enamel dots and that's today's three old, three new stash busting share. So thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and the story. Please always leave comments. I do love to read them and see what you're enjoying. I hope that you are already a subscriber, but if not, please hit that little button.